Hello, this is after Protect Victoria's rally. We're here with the organiser Hayden Bradford. And Hayden, how did you think today went? Um, I'm disappointed because we had 101 people on our, 101 people exactly, on our public page that committed to coming. We had uh, 198 on our um, private Facebook group page. Uh, that, 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 that quite clearly told me that, uh, you know, add them up, that's around 300 people. Now, we didn't get that. We probably had 80 to 100 people. Um, however, on the positive, look, it's a start, right? This is the first rally we've ever had. It's a start. We were blessed by the weather, of course. We were in competition with the Greek Festival and a few other things, but, you know, we expect that. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more when we front up into Daniel Andrews's... Um, out the front of his electoral office and Lisa Neville's electoral office and Martin Pakula's electoral office and hopefully um, we will um, attract more numbers because at the end of the day we, we have 34,500 people on our Protect Victoria webpage and at the end of the day politicians are not interested in how many numbers you have in a Twitter account or how many numbers you have on a Facebook account. The only thing that bothers politicians is the amount of people who are prepared to take the time out to get out and actually protest against an issue. Now, as we all know, the only time a politician takes any notice of the people is when a number of people, a large number of people, go out and say, we want this done or we're not going to vote for you. Now, hopefully the Daniel Andrews government will start to listen to us because the election in the state of Victoria isn't until uh, 24 no 24th of November 2018 this year. What we need... <laughs> is um, what we need is we don't, you know, if we wait until November the 24th for a change of government for, for the laws to change, there's going to be a tremendous amount of people who are going to be hurt between now and then. We need the laws changed tomorrow, so it'd be great if Daniel Andrews starts to nip this in the butt a little bit from our ever-growing group and actually stands up and says, um, well, you know, guys, um, we probably should have a chat to protect Victoria. They've got a lot of they make a lot of sense because those are policy initiatives that I read out today. Um, they're not just mine. They're from a group of 34,500 people who have said, I love Melbourne and the trams, right? <laughs> who, who have said, look, let's do this, let's do that. And we're up to draft 15 of that. Um, that goes to show you how many times things have changed or how much things have changed in there from um, what the different people have said. Uh, well, another positive of today is that uh, Antifa and those various uh, left-wing troublemakers were a no-show today. Uh, why do you think they kept away? Well, I think one of the reasons that they, they stayed away is where, you see, Protect Victoria, we're, we're not a racist site, we're not a hate site, we're not a vigilante site, we're not a um, political group. So we're not out there pushing to deport people or saying... Um, um, the only people that commit crime in the state of Victoria are Africans, which is wrong. I mean, uh, I mean, quite clearly, the Sudanese youth are, are, are responsible for a lot of the home invasions, etc. But and Africa consists of 30 odd plus countries, but it's only in the one African country that we're seeing the youths come from where we have the problems. So we're not a racist site as such. All we're quoting to people is what's from. The crime statistics um, and what the police are saying. So we're not doing, um, going on the um, the racist rant. And we actually have Sudanese people, particularly Sudanese women, who are members of our site. And I can tell you now, they're very disappointed with their children. They're very disappointed with um, the Sudanese youth in general. Um, and one of the problems that I hear a lot from the Sudanese mums is that they come out to Australia, the husbands can't get work. So the husbands go back to Sudan where they may well have another wife because they have those sorts of things happening in some other countries where you're allowed to have two or three wives. And mum's left at home to look after the children. Now, mum has to work as well. So whether the kids go to school or whether they go out and conduct a home invasion, she has no idea about it. So these are the sort of problems that the Sudanese community have as well. And that's why a number of them are on our site, because they know we're not a racist group. Like, at the end of the day, mate, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, Asian or come from the planet Mars, all races, all of different backgrounds commit crime, Greeks, Italians, Vietnamese, and, but the overwhelming bulk of those people are wonderful, wonderful human beings who um, have come to our country to live and set up their businesses and do whatever else and, um, you know, so, so we're not a racist group like some other groups are that get around, um, um, we're just 
we just don't go down that, that, that path. We don't want to go down that path. Anyway, we're a bunch of mums and dads and grandparents and um, we're just really concerned about being woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning because some bastard standing beside our beds with a machete, you know, that's the sort of stuff we're against. And there, you did manage to get uh, one politi state politician to speak today, uh, Rachel Carling Jenkins from Australian Conservatives. Hopefully, uh, getting some influence in the major parties will come during this crucial election year. Yeah, look, um, the Australian Conservative Party are running um, candidates in, I'm led to believe, in the lower house and the upper house in the next state election. And I say this to people now if you are at all concerned about crime and you do want to run for politics, there has never been a better time to do it than to run for politics in the state of Victoria this year because the ALP government are on the nose, as are the opposition, the, the Liberal Party. And if you want to be an independent or join a minor party, um, you've got a very good chance of being elected um, because these people are, you know, a lot of these political parties, these minor parties are now suddenly realising hey, look, there's votes in this if we stand up and we be against crime or we support groups like anti um, uh, crime groups like Protect Victoria. Um, Rachel's been a huge supporter of us. Uh, she's a member of the Upper House for the uh, Western Metropolitan Region of Melbourne. Uh, she's a great lady. I like her a lot. Um, she has a very strong... Well, the ACP, the Australian Conservatives, have a very strong anti-crime... Um, um, focus, and this is what we're about initially. You know, we're, we're about the strong anti-crime thing. We're, we're not into the economy. We're not into this. We're not into that. We just stop the bloody crime. People are being hurt, and we're just fed up with it. Um, um, so no, Rachel's been a huge supporter of us. I hope the ACP do very well. I can actually, um, I'll make a call now on the election 2014. I honestly believe that we're going to end up with a hung parliament. I really believe that company. Uh, Sorry, um, political groups, um, parties like the Australian Conservative Party, like um, some of the other minority parties running around who are going to run people, Paul Enhanson's One Nation, etc. I honestly believe that they will have the balance of power in the lower house um, and the government currently and the opposition are going to have to deal with them um, to be elected in the government. So um, that's my honest opinion, just from what I'm hearing and seeing. So hopefully that will come to fruition. and. Um, we, the Victorian publics and the government and uh, the Liberal Party, a very clear message. Look, this is garbage what you're doing to us. And we should always remember one very important point. When the Liberal Party come out and they go, oh yeah, we're strong against anti-crime, let us remember one important point. When the Liberal Party of Australia were last in government, they closed down police stations. They reduced the numbers of police officers. It is the Labor Party who pushed on doing more of that when they got elected. I mean, and, and so the blame is with both sides of politics. It's not just with um, the one party. Um, so, look, I, I honestly think, yes, ACP is good. I don't agree with everything they've said. Um, look, I don't even know how I'm going to vote yet, so I have no idea how the bulk of Protect Victoria people are going to um, vote as another big tram goes past. And you're going to love it in Melbourne. I love it. Um, bright sunny day and the trams are out. <laughs> um, we're also contending with the Greek festival today, folks, which is, um, to give them a plug, if you're after a souvlaki, head down, head down to Lonsdale Street. <laughs> the cameraman's in heaven. <laughs> well, I'd like to finish off by congratulating you on uh, to, uh, today's event. I mean, it's, it's not an easy feat to organise a public rally. There's a lot of things that can uh, go wrong, and you've made a good start in this uh, cause for 2018. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.